The official election of Donald Trump comes as an interview aired in which First Lady Michelle Obama told Oprah Winfrey she and her husband, President Barack Obama, now know what it's like not to feel hope for the future. See, now we're feeling what not having hope feels like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> hope is necessary. It's, it's a necessary concept. <laughs> And Barack didn't just talk about hope because he thought it was just a nice slogan to get votes. I mean, he and I and so many believe that if you, what else do you have if you don't have hope? Yeah. What do you give your kids if you can't give them hope? Over the weekend, as clips of the taped interview were published online, Donald Trump attacked First Lady Michelle Obama, claiming she, quote, must have been talking about the past, unquote. On Monday, President Obama granted clemency to 231 prisoners, the most individual acts of clemency granted in a single day by any president in U.S. history. Obama pardoned 78 people and shortened the sentence of 153 others convicted of federal crimes. Obama has now pardoned a total of 148 people during his presidency and has shortened the sentences of 1,176 people, including 395 serving life sentences as part of a push to reduce the number of people serving long sentences for nonviolent drug offenses. But he still has not offered clemency or pardons to some high-profile political prisoners, including Army whistleblower Chelsea Manning or Native American activist Leonard Peltier.